It wasn't that long ago I looked through this camera at you guys and I said it's September 1st I gotta get in the garden. Well since then all I've done was put mulch in the pathways. I really have to get in the garden or I'm gonna completely miss my opportunity to do any gardening this fall. So if I really need to get in the garden why am I sitting in the bedroom next to my bed? Well my seeds are kept in a seed box under this bed and I want to just kind of show you I have seeds of all kinds in here. Some that I've collected, some that people have sent me, some that I've purchased. I mean, I just got everything. Some of it's in this folder, which I thought was gonna be a beautiful idea to keep my seeds organized. But then I ended up with just too much. It's just a little bit. I don't have time right now to completely organize and make this a beautiful selection of seeds. So I just need to go through and figure out what am I gonna use for this season right now. Ground cherries, those will wait till spring. I don't need any melon right now. I could possibly plant some beans. I'm not gonna plant any tomatoes right now other than the plants that I have started. I've really missed an opportunity this year to plant a lot. If I were gonna be a great gardener, I would have been out there planting these seeds instead of letting them sit in this box under the bed. I'm sure you can relate. Life takes over and you just don't get things done. And gardening is season specific. So if you miss your window of opportunity, you kinda have to wait till next season. There's onion seeds in there. I could plant those. I loved these last season. I actually have a million and a half seeds in the greenhouse. Ah, here's an interesting collection. This must be one that I had put up from last winter. Kohlrabi, Brussels sprouts, broccoli. Yes, this is the type of thing that I need right now. I'll take that to the garden. There's a lot of flower seeds. I really need to just take those out next spring and just throw them out on the farm and see what happens. Here's one that someone sent me. Turnip greens. Appreciated in, in the winter for their greens. Plant in late summer for fall and winter use. Carrots. I want to plant lots of carrots. Okra and black eyed peas. I missed it. I should have planted those a month ago. I really thought I had more carrot seeds. Oh, I knew I had more, but let's see what else is in here. Lettuce is great for the late summer and fall into the winter garden. Beets, radish, ah, more carrot. I knew I had some. Spinach. It's always fun going through your seeds. You just have to remember to actually plant the seeds. looking a little overcast today, which is fine. I get to show you the pathways that we did with cedar mulch. I think it's looking really nice. I didn't get quite finished. I still need to go get another load. Luke is actually really good at spotting wasp nest. And there's a good one right there. Bird houses often become wasp houses. Just walk around it, bud. You'll be okay. Here's the garden. You can see the cedar mulch pathways have made the garden much more pleasant. For this winter, I'm gonna plant primarily in these spots. So I gotta clean that out, clean that out, get those containers out, and see about how we're gonna do this. I hear some thunder in the background. You can see that sky's looking kinda of heavy. We need to get this done before it rains. Hello. Oh my, I just saw something very interesting. Check this out. That right there. Looks like the skin of a Texas rat snake. And that's a pretty good size. Look how wide that thing is. It must be snake season in the garden. Is he still in the garden? It's a pretty good chunk of skin right there. It's like his tail got all curled up right there. You can see how skinny it got. He may be living in here. Oh, look. There's more skin right there, so he definitely was living in between here, or at least moving in between here. There's a good chance that there's a massive rat snake living somewhere in my garden. Thank you for my smoothie. You're welcome. It's a very, very smoothie. Thank you. That looks yummy. You put bacon grease in it? It's a vegetarian smoothie? 
Mmm, that's yummy. I really need this container. Oh look, a marble. When I was a kid, I had a favorite marble. Really beautiful tiger eye, which is that pattern in the middle. I was maybe 10 years old, but I thought, that kind of looks like candy. I'm gonna eat it. So I did. I swallowed my favorite marble. I never saw it again. I got about three minutes of work done in the garden until this happened. Rain seems to like the weekends. I love the rain and I don't want to complain about it, but sometimes I just want to get something done. Well, the rain stopped. My family decided they're gonna head out to the river with the kayaks. Me, I'm going back to the garden. It is sometimes a little bit of a bummer having to get things done and missing out on some of the family adventures. But, you know, I only have so many hours during the week and... Oops! I only have so many hours during the week and, and uh, the weekends to take care of my farm and get things done, shoot video, and get this all of this taken care of. So sometimes when they want to go out and do fun stuff, I gotta stick around and take care of business. I mixed up some of that compost and some uh, old soil that I had and I, I put, uh, I dug that trench in the leaves and I put the compost and soil in there. I'm gonna plant in that and then lay some wire over this to keep the cats out. I gotta find my carrot seeds in here. Tender sweets, I don't know if they're orange, I think they're just typical orange. And then also some dragon carrots. I think I'm just gonna mix them up and let it be a surprise. I'm gonna take the carrots and mix the seeds in some soil and then sprinkle it on top of this other soil and lightly rub it in. That way the seeds will separate in the soil maybe giving me a chance of thinning a little less. Typically when you plant carrot seeds, just sprinkling the seeds, you get too many, way too many, too close together, and then you lose most of them when you thin them out. That's it right there. So I'm mixing all those seeds into this bucket. Hopefully that separates the seeds well enough that they won't be that close together when I plant them. And just sprinkle it on top of this here. That just barely covers the seeds. The beet seeds are large enough that I don't need to mix them in with soil before planting them. I'm just spacing them out a few inches a piece. Kind of in a staggered pattern, that way I get a few more per row. In the past seasons, I've tried to be careful to grow Brussels sprouts and broccoli, you know, according to the directions and planting in the, the pots or planting them spaced a certain way and doing it very carefully. I've had zero luck growing Brussels sprouts and broccoli. So this year, I'm just gonna mix all these seeds together and I'm gonna spread them on this row. And I'm just gonna see what happens. Basically what I just showed you was an experiment. Just random, do something in the garden. It's okay because it's your garden and you need to learn what happens. See what I'm gonna do over the next 
few months is observe what happens here. It may be the silliest thing I've ever done, but as I observe what's going on, I can make that judgment call and say, yep, that was not so smart. Or I could say, wow, that worked a lot better than I expected. Next time, I think I'm gonna try that a little better. Maybe I'll use more seeds, maybe I'll use fewer seeds. Maybe uh, the Brussels sprouts and broccoli don't go so well together, maybe they do. But this is my chance to observe that. I am convinced at this point that I either just created the best winter garden I've ever had or the worst. I'm not sure how any of this is gonna work out, but I just put down a lot of seeds and I am hoping for a lot of return. Actually, I'm just hoping to see some things grow.